What's up, old school homies? Today we're going to talk about the worst drivers in Southern California. And when I looked back on the events of me driving around for 12 hours a day in Orange County, there were two incidents of road rage <laughs> against me that stood out. And when I thought back on it, I was like, you know what? Those are both within a quarter mile of each other. So I started to calculate it back inside of my mind. And I was like, that was Corona Del Mar downtown. And there really is a weird vibe there. So let's go into it. I would say like the center of it would be around Iris Street. And if you get around there, what happens is there's nowhere to park. So people park on the street, right? But it's not, you have to like parallel park on the street. But um, it's a really fast area. I think it's like a 35, but everybody goes about 45. So you're trying to parallel park on a 45 mile per hour street where there's no room. And once they do park, they just kind of swing their doors open into traffic. And people are coming in and out of their cars in the middle of traffic, basically. Fast moving traffic. So there's bad vibes down there all the time. Like you always feel like someone's going to swing a door open on you around Pacific Coast Highway and Iris Street. Not that anything bad has happened on Iris Street itself, but in a few of the surrounding blocks, I'll just tell you some of the stories that happened to me. Now, um, there was one street where it starts here and then it, it kind of finishes over here. You know, it's like one of those offset streets. And I'm sitting there waiting for a cyclist to pass by and this girl and a, I say girl, it's probably like a 40 year old lady, um, pulls up in a Range Rover with bleach blonde hair and totally white, beautiful, brand new Range Rover, typical soccer mom looking lady. And um, she's mad that I'm yielding to the pedestrian. And in that area, it's so small, I don't think she could see the pedestrian that went past me. And then another pedestrian was coming and I was waiting for him to come. And then during that time, the stoplight changed, which just threw her off. She was really upset that I waited during a green light for um, pedestrians to walk by. But they were in front of me, so you have to yield to them. And uh, the lady freaked out and drove up on the curb. She, she really did it in a scary fashion. She hammered down the throttle into the sidewalk and then drove up on the sidewalk next to me and she had two wheels in the street and two wheels on the sidewalk and she just starts screaming at me like in my face oh man that was scary as shit and then the other one okay it was about two or three streets over from that <laughs> next to a famous sports athlete's house and uh Shit, this one scared the shit out of me too. All right, so I'm trying to back into a parking spot, but I saw it too late. Like I drove through this little intersection. There's like a T, right? Like there's a street and then there's another street attached to it. So I drove past the parking spot, which was right here. And then I wanted to back into it. So I'm starting to do that. And then this guy on this side of the street, he came and blocked me. Like he floored his car into like a T-bone motion and blocked me in. And then when I tried to move, he, he floored it again and almost hit my car and stopped it right next to it and started honking. So I got out of the car. I, I didn't know if he was playing demo derby or what. After about one minute of him holding the horn down, I went and knocked on his window like, so he could move out of the way. Like my car wasn't even movable. It was so close to his car, you know? I wish his horn would have blown up or something, but I'm telling you, that's, that street wasn't even wide enough for one car. And this fool was freaking out. 